Hey everybody, welcome back to ConductorPlugin.com. We have the Ninja Forms add-on finally available for those of you who want to display your Ninja Form entries on any page or post uh, in your WordPress website using a short code, using a widget, more specifically, of course, using our Conductor plugin. Um, you can see right here on the Ninja Forms add-on page, this is just briefly going to explain which fields you can display within your Ninja Forms. Uh, the, the default created by, date created, entry ID, form ID, post ID, sort of all of the uh, standard fields and metadata that Ninja Forms saves when somebody submits a form. And then any of those fields that you can uh, input into Ninja Form. Okay, so I want to take a look at the forms that I have set up here just for this test example. Uh, in the interest of time, I'm going to kind of move uh, a little bit faster. So I have this event registration form. It is a default form that you can just quickly install on Ninja Forms by a click of a button or activate with a click of a button. It's got your sort of standard registration uh, fields that you might be asking somebody your name, email address, phone number, that kind of thing. And in this example, uh, food, requir food requirements and preferred drink drinks and what this looks like on the front end is this form right here just so you get that as an example so now i'm going to just go ahead and fill this out and probably fast forward just to save some time so i've gone ahead and filled out the form now i'm going to go ahead and hit the register button that'll submit my form and over on this page i have this table being displayed of, of one ninja form entry that i already have in there so i'm just going to go ahead and hit refresh you can see here, this is the data that I just submitted, Scott Souza, with uh, the food requirements of vegetarian. And this is the conductor table display uh, with the advanced table display. And I can just search these uh, fields right here. So there's only two. Uh, but if I do vegetarian, as I start to type that in, it filters down to this just this one selection. I can clear that, bring the rest of the results back. Let's take a look at modifying that conductor query just so you can take a look at it and see how we set it up uh, in the back end. I'm going to go over to Conductor Query Builder, and this is my uh, Ninja Demo 2 query. And when I click that, it brings up the Query Builder, and this is just the simple Query Builder. Ninja Forms, Gravity Forms, add-ons only work with the simple Form Builder right now. So you can see right here, I select from Ninja Forms. I selected the event registration form. And if I go to the output tab, you can see that I've indicated that I want this to be displayed in a table. And then coming down here, you can see the Ninja Form fields that I've pulled in right now. So first name, last name, and any food requirements. Let's just hop over to the field, excuse me, the, the table. So you can just see that one more time. First name, last name, food requirements. If I uh, wanted to get rid of, let's say, last name, I can hide that field for right now and I can hit update and I will refresh this page and you should see this change. So now it's just first name and food requirements. Going back to the builder, let me get rid of that tab. Uh, going back to the builder, let's go ahead and just start searching for Ninja form fields. And as you can see, as I start typing Ninja, um, these available fields pop up. Some of these are default and then some of these are specific to my form. Uh, one of the questions was preferred drink. So I'm gonna go ahead and add that. And then the other field I saw there uh, was how many friends will you bring along? Let's go ahead and add that. And you can see that uh, all of those fields are still are right here. And I'm going to hit update, go back to our table view, refresh that. And now you can see uh, here's our first name, food requirements, preferred drink, um, and how many friends will you bring? I just have one selected on both of these. But you can see right here that this title might be just a little too big or too long, or depending on where you're putting these uh, these short codes for form entries, for displaying form entries, you might have this as like a, a private page just for maybe administration to your website. Maybe this isn't a public facing thing. It's much more of a quick sort of page that people can look at uh, without giving them access to the back end. I can change that label super easy. Go back to the builder, come down to this field, hit the little edit icon, and then I can change this. Let's just call this friends. Hit update refresh this page one more time and there you have it now the title of this column is simply friends it's not sort of uh, falling off into two lines and i'm able to uh, customize that fairly easily if i wanted to rearrange these uh, i could so i don't know we'll just put first name at the end here one more time hit update go back to our front end refresh and now the first name is here at the last column 
so let's take a look at one more thing that you can do here, which I really enjoy about Conductor because Conductor is all about the display of content and giving you that flexibility where you don't have to rework everything if you want to change things up. So for example, if you don't want to use a table anymore, let's say for this particular query, we can just switch this to our custom columns field and let's just display two columns. Go ahead and hit update, refresh that page. And now you can see that our data is in two columns. So this works great with uh, especially posts and, and pages and things like that, especially if you have like a uh, featured image or maybe an image that you submit with your form, you could kind of display that at the top. But you can see here, it makes it super easy. Uh, and if I had a lot of data, I could then move this uh, into uh, many uh, columns. I'll just move it up to four, just so you can sort of see it shrink a little bit better refresh that. Now you can see there's room here for two more entries. So it's very flexible in terms of displaying your content. Again, we think that a lot of people are going to use the Gravity Forms add-on, the Ninja Forms add-on with tables, but you can still use the rest of our displays uh, within the display pack or the default columns. It's conductorplugin.com. It's the Ninja Forms add-on. Check it out. Uh, price is starting at 99 bucks for 100 websites. It's quite a value. I'll see you in the next video.